I need then go for it. So should I just get in there? over. <laughs> is the Progress Center's new mobile resource center. Um, during COVID, especially right at the beginning, we spent a considerable amount of time putting miles on my personal car to go out and meet with community members who needed help. And then I have a re regular standard size car. So just imagine me trying to haul uh, boxes of Tide or other laundry materials um to drop off to folks or to take folks to the grocery store and i just figured uh being able to have a mobile uh, resource center where not only can we meet with you right in front of your house in the parking lot or in front of your apartment but we can bring the van to you turn on our mobile wi-fi hotspot if you need a printer we put, hook up our printer so you can print right there on spot um, I can also haul a lot much, a lot more. So I families to just meet with you right at your door, uh, just like we would meet with you physically at the Progress Center. So it was just really, really important to up our game when it came to serving um, black women and black families needs especially. Um, so yeah, I love it. And like one of our themes for the van is to create joy and to provide joy to black families and black women especially. Yep. It's really just to, to remove some barriers with getting support and resources to folks and just coming right to them versus, you know, sometimes folks don't have a ride because, you know, they don't have enough gas. Lots of folks are out of work right now or they're seeing a, a, a pretty substantial cut in their hours. And so we were dropping off gas cars too, you know, so why should I ask someone to spend a little bit more money um, to load up their car or put gas in their car to come to me. We could just fill up our van, fill up our van and come to them. So this is funded 100% by our donors. Like and we get regular folks who contribute to the Progress Center once a month or periodically or just one time only. And so because our donations have been consistently pouring in, um, I just wanted to find a better and an easier and mobile way to serve. We even decided to move our, we've just literally figured out how to pair our physical space with a mobile, um, you know, resource center. So I know I've Lisa put on 10,000 miles just because I'm driving back and forth. I crisscross, like there hasn't been a place really in Dane County that I haven't had to go with my car. Um, and we've even had folks reach out to us from as far away as the Racine, Kenosha, Beloit area asking for resources. I can, I'm really looking forward to taking the van down there and partnering with folks over there to share resources as well. Because at the end of the day, the Progress Center is about serving to the best of our abilities the needs of black women and families. And over and over again, we're seeing that black women especially are really not doing well financially um, in this pandemic. Not all black women, but a good number of black women are not doing well financially. And so our, our goal is to always just be of service and figure out where can we best serve. I, I really truly miss the social connections that we were able to make uh, with folks just coming into the space. Um, but I'm, I'm doing that in a way where we're safe, we're outdoors, we're socially distanced, and they don't have to load up their car or if they're not driving, they don't have to figure out a way to get to me, I could just come to them, which I was just doing anyways in my personal vehicle. And everything, but I'm just so it's so quick that I rarely get to sometimes I'm just not conscious about sharing everything because I'm just in it you know like the people are gonna see and then yeah with K 
kits, activity kits, just in-kind donations, uh, just spreading the word, just sharing like, hey, the Progress Center now has a mobile um, they can come to you. We're always in organizations where it makes sense. Um, for example, one of the, the things we'll do, we have maybe 500 books or so. Lots of those are kids' books at the center. I love to see it. So, you know, the good thing, you know, donation, donations and kind support and just successful. You know, and, and, and I mean, when you told me that you've got all these quick trip, you know, the fact that, I mean, because we know that that's just one extra thing that you're thinking about. Is your yep. Yep. Send us gas cards because I definitely, uh, you know, we got the van. How um, much gas do you have right now? I just, I just filled you it up, but I've already. Something, I don't know. But I, I mean, yeah. these are different animals all together. I love when other folks are like looking at it or just waving if it's someone that I know or we've helped before and they're waving at us. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it is. That's the only time I've seen a black person. It felt really good. I remember pulling up behind the van and literally snapping a picture. And so I, I love that now we can provide opportunity for, especially for little black kids to come out of their house. Like, and I just love seeing like her face just like, just so wild, like the smile in her face, you know? Because yeah. again, we're quarantining and now we're quarantining even more. Um, and I've been like really like, so we've been there. Social visits as well. And that just means just pull up and say, hey, how you doing? You know, can I bring you some coffee? Can I bring you anything that you might need? Um, and just chit let's just chit chat, you know, and just talk it in the parking lot about what they're experiencing and what resources are out there to help them deal with it. And that's just the best feeling ever. Yep. Yeah. You know, the our gas thing is on your side, okay. so. I'm a, oh, dang it, they're going to beat me to it, yeah, they might beat me to it. All right, I'm going to do a quick Milwaukee turn. Or is this person getting out over here now? I've never heard that, a Milwaukee turn, I love it. It's a Milwaukee turn, we don't really turn correctly. We do, but we whip the car, we whip it. All right, I'm going to do I'm Oop, let's remember how to do the gas. Yeah. <laughs> All righty. They're gonna be like, <laughs> love like the purple bumper. All right. They're like, did you? Put Okay. There are those moments where you just kind of have to run and gun. Yeah, yeah, okay. I just keep a little stash right here. Look down in there for a second. Yep, so I keep some of these nearby always so I can have them when folks need them. Quick Trip, Walmart for the household essentials, you know, like detergent or cleansers. Quick, we're almost out of gas cards to share with folks for gas. And then Woodman's because everyone said that Woodman's, you have good deals and they can stretch their dollars. Everybody loves Woodman's. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Yeah. Yeah. So Walmart, gas cars for folks for Quick Trip, Woodman's. Woodman's are like $25 a piece. Quick Trip, $15 a piece. And Walmart, $25 a piece. Which is just, it's not a whole lot, but it definitely helps, you know. the 31st so Please, we can have, have you there early get that going. Yeah. I love this story and I love getting to share it out on our line since COVID and they don't plan to come back to lots of things that you know we all love and enjoy doing right and that's why it's so important that we're keeping that connection mm -hmm. what you're doing right yeah yeah Yeah, an isolate interaction. Yes, that's what it's all about. And that's why I love that you mentioned, you know, you need play accessories. You need things mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to really yep, and, yep. And, and all of that. It's, yep. Oh, yeah, I have a t-shirt. We're going to start... Uh, so in November, this isn't public just yet because we're still working on details, but we're rolling out a new grant. Where we'll grant uh, entrepreneurs $500 a month. Um, you know, like they'll apply and we'll grant one entrepreneur a month $500. I wasn't going to work because I finally got this company out of Walworth County. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I've got to get that finished so we can. I could definitely add it in our blurb that, hey, if your company or someone you know is hiring 10 Please plus people. Publicity. Yeah. yeah, love yeah. To get Can I go anymore? Ta da! No. <laughs> and go for it whenever you can. Oh, okay. 
I just love this van. As you should. And thank you for going on this. It worked out. Oh, this light outside. Is just, oh, today's the perfect day to shoot this. If there was ever a day. It's like the culmination of hard work, but also it's just like, I just, I just knew that we would be able to better get to folks and to be able to better bring resources to them. Whether they come here, so we'll be out in the community a couple days a week, and then we'll be in the space two days a week. So they providing care, commitment, education, not Wi-Fi or printing yet, but definitely respect, community, leadership, support, and joy. Cause it's like, we still need that. Absolutely do.